the new titan that legitimately terrified Kong in the latest trailer for New Empire, and that apparently Godzilla, King of the Monsters, is also afraid of. Over the years, the MonsterVerse has introduced us to a wide variety of Titans and Mutos. Each of them have come into contact with Godzilla at Kong at some point or another, most bowing to Godzilla as King of the Monsters. Now though, it seems as though there is something that has Kong scared. And today, let's discuss the creature known as Shimo, everything you need to know about it, and talk about everything we know about the Titans' histories and powers, and why Shimo appears to be extremely dangerous to even Godzilla and Kong. A new alpha has arrived. Shimo is a reptilian titan who shares a few physical characteristics with Godzilla, and there is even some speculation that the two of them are related to one another. According to many reports, Shimo is a female, and does bear some resemblance to the Gojira's overall species and Godzilla's evolved form. This means it's possible that the two are distant relatives of one another somewhere on the evolutionary chain, and at some point in the past, their two respective species deviated but could originate from the same place. We know this due to a toy line by Playmate, which has released a box depicting the creature as a large, pale colored figure with reptilian features similar to that of a Gojira, including scales and a snout that closely resembles that of a snapping turtle, as well as purple spikes similar to Godzilla's evolved form. The presence of these spikes seem to indicate that she is capable of absorbing radiation from the hollow earth and energies like Gojira, and that this would not only nourish Shimo, but might be the main source of her power, gaining this energy from the hollow earth, and that this would not only make her powerful, but a threat to Gojira. This could mean that her power level is dependent on how much saturated energy is within the hollow earth for her to access. And this could pose not just a major strength, but a weakness as well if she can be drained of this power. In the MonsterVerse, with the Call of Duty tie-in, Shimo was depicted in a cave drawing, this being the first appearance, and the documentation seems to indicate that she had a rivalry with Godzilla. Upright, she seems to be on par with Godzilla in terms of physical size, even being a little bigger and Kong seems to be looking up to her, indicating that the last time Godzilla met Shimo, she could be much smaller than what we see in the new empire. We even believe that Shimo absorbing energy could be why Godzilla is also compelled to do so, and that Shimo has grown substantially in size, and is a much greater threat than the last time she faced off with or against Gojira. In the cave drawing, she appears to be facing off against Godzilla, but the major question is where she's been all this time, and is she truly stronger than she was before? We know that her abilities seem to be ice-based, and rather than something like Godzilla's atomic breath, she's able to freeze her enemies. As of right now, we don't know if the strength of this ability is tied to her connection with the energy of the Hollow Earth, but it's reasonable that her exposure to the radiation has made her stronger. What's perhaps most important about Shimo, though, is where her allegiance is right now. After all, she hasn't been seen for presumably thousands of years, potentially millions. Even though Godzilla has made sporadic appearances throughout history, he's been more integrated with human society than ever before, and has led several titan-centric battles on the surface of the Earth, including against Ghidorah and Kong. Shimo, however, seems to be allied with the Scar King, who seems to have a considerable following among the rest of the Titanus Kong in the Hollow Earth and it's really only Kong himself that seems to oppose the Scar King openly. The rest of them support his ideas or whatever mission he is proposing, which seems to be war, and Kong is an outsider to the cause, with it being revealed that Kong's own title as king is being brought into question. This suggests that he has some sort of cause that the rest of the Kong agree with, and Scar King is in charge. And if this is the case, then it's perfectly reasonable to believe that Shimu may have been convinced by this cause as well. However, reports seem to indicate that Shimo is aligned with Scar King against her own will. The primary theory goes that these remaining Kong wish to reclaim control of Earth from humanity, and we know that Kong has grown rather fond of them during his time on Skull Island, in fact, creating a close bond with them as we know the past Kongs did as well. They were once the dominant species and were only ever challenged by the Gojira, but now that only one Gojira remains, they finally have the opportunity to ascend to the top of the Earth yet again. 
The other option is that their quest is a personal revenge against the last Gojira. But either way, Godzilla seems to be firmly set in the sights of the Scar King and his following. If the cave drawing is to be believed, then they aren't the only ones with the score to settle against Godzilla, and their interests may align with Shimo. There is the possibility that Shimo is somehow under the control of the Scar King, explaining why we haven't heard from her. But this part is speculative, and right now, we don't have much to support this case, although we will continue to look. Now though, it seems like Scar King will be unleashing Shimo against her old rival. Only now both Godzilla and Shimo are much more powerful than they've seen each other in some time. Millions of years ago, the Earth was naturally far more radioactive than it is today, thus allowing the Titans to roam the surface of the Earth as the dominant predatory group. As the radiation levels of the Earth died down, however, the remaining Titans were driven into hiding, with some of them finding refuge in the radiation of the Hollow Earth. Godzilla and Shimo have both been growing more and more powerful for millions of years, and are the apex version of this respective species. It's even possible that Shimo has grown stronger than Godzilla, simply due to the time she spent in the depths of the Hollow Earth while Godzilla remained closer to the surface, but that he spent much more time on the surface as Earth's main guardian titan. However, this means over the years, Godzilla has been closer to the surface, and over time, this may have resulted in a power disparity between the two of them, if Shimo has spent her time and life being empowered by the radiation of the Hollow Earth. We know that every time Godzilla has been injured, he has sought out radiation in different forms, going to an old sanctuary where he was apparently worshipped in King of the Monsters, as well as being empowered by humic atomic radiation. But Shimo quite literally could have been bathing in said radiation for millions of years, and with the Scar King in control, it's clear that Godzilla will need a new power-up and a new form altogether to compete with one of his oldest rivals. A battle now would carry more weight and amass more destruction than either of their counterparts from the prime days of the Titans, as these two are in their absolute strongest forms, and this time, humanity is about to be caught in the crossfire. It's clear that Godzilla's new form could be a source of radiation found in the Hollow Earth that will give him an edge over Shimo. But anyway my friends, stay tuned on the channel as we'll later be discussing a rivalry between Shimo and Ghidorah and how quite possibly Ghidorah could be the reason that Shimo is in hiding, and also how Ghidorah was defeated for the first time. But what are your thoughts on this, my friends? If you're interested in staying up to date on the MonsterVerse as well as the Marvel Cinematic Universe, smash that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.